Welcome to CombatFitness.com. Here with David Walker, two-time All-American. We're going to go over single leg kind of finishes. Okay, uh, real quick, we're just going to go from uh, a single leg position where my head is in chest and his legs are legs pinched between mine. Some kind of a basic single leg position. Um, this is Saturday News. He's a two-time world silver medalist, Asian national champion in 2002. Um, so to start out, we're just going to go ahead and get ourselves into a single leg position. Uh, just a quick review, just want to make sure that you guys see that we're in a solid position, that my back is straight, that my level is nice, that my face is in on this single leg, okay? I like to keep my face in because it keeps my man at a distance and keeps him off balance here. Too many times we get head down, our head falls off to the side. Um, we're in there. The guys, are lizard ran, okay? So it's really important that I have my face into them here. Okay, one way I like to teach kids to elevate and uh, other us to elevate this leg is I'm going to go ahead and keep this thing pinched with my legs here. It's really important to control this leg here. Keeping that at a distance with my face, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reach down while the leg is still pinched. Okay, I'm going to reach down. I like to go to the back of the heel. At the same time that I go back of the heel, I'm going to take this leg that I'm pinching with and I'm going to step off here. Pinched, face in, good single leg position here, looking into him, step off, and at the same time drop my level down to his heel, and I step off. What's important here is I now want to make sure that his leg stays elevated on my body. People call this table topping or getting this, this in a position where I can really use no hands to keep this guy's leg pinched in between me, okay? Face in, leg pinched, reaching down, simultaneously I'm going to take my knee either step it off or I can just kind of let it slide out on its own. From this point guys, I'm going to come all the way down with both hands to the ankle, to his heel. I don't want to make sure, I want to make sure it closes the distance if there's a lot of space guys that got a lot of funk can kick out. I want to come down and I'm just going to bend down here from when I take the heel out. I'm going to bend down and trap as I'm here. Now I'm going to go ahead and elevate, try to go into my trips. My front trips, we can hook. Um, second way that I like to elevate, is, especially with guys with great balance on one foot. My face is in, I'm pinching with my leg. This guy might have a wizard, it's cool. I'm going to go ahead and drop off here, and I'm going to immediately tabletop it, put it on my workbench, and I'm going to drop all the way out again to the ankle. Now, some guys can hang out here in this position, and we see guys tripping and they still might not go over. At this point, I like to go, I take a heavy C motion with my arm, and I'm going to come underneath, and I'm actually going to drop my level. I'm not going to lift his leg, I'm going to drop my level underneath his leg to this point. I like to go my hand to the back of the head. Now notice that his leg didn't really go much higher than where I had it. Take a hard C to control it, keep it, keep it, uh, keep it in, you know, grasp pretty tight. Now I'm going to drop below, back to this one. So this is still tight here, and now I'm going to put this on my shoulder as I come up into this rotation, which is now a lot more difficult for this guy to stay balanced. A little bit easier to trip in front or behind, or hard to leave here to the top of the head. A couple elevation things. For more techniques and tips, and even some exercises, go to www.combatfitness.com.